So here's a quick recap of our different techniques here. Uh, and it's a really good list. With these couple of things, you can make a pretty good difference on your prints. But one of the best things about this list is you can actually combine a lot of these things together. And so that's exactly what we did for the final version of this part. And here's kind of what it ended up looking like. Uh, I beefed up all the little parts of it just to start, and I increased the infill. And then I printed it out of nylon 6 with chopped carbon fiber. And then on the design side, I added this metal shackle that has a pin that sort of press fits into the part. And the pin did a really good job of distributing the force across the layers. And then the fact that it was such a tight fit means the part won't have to warp around the shape of the pin. And that'll make more sense uh, once we go through the experiments for this. But uh, the shackle was also nice because it rotates around the pin and it just gives me more freedom as I'm hooking up my tie downs to it. Uh, and then I mentioned it earlier, but we have our two mounting bolts as well that are going to clamp these parts together and um, compress the layers. And then the last trick we talked about, uh, splitting this up into two different parts and taking full advantage of each orientation, plus the addition of a couple of carbon fiber layers in each of these parts. And so in the flange, I've got some at the top and the bottom. So that's going to add a lot of stiffness with those sandwich panels. And it's also going to make it much harder for the hook to be pulled through.